Hey, what's going on, guys? Um, so this is something that I predicted a long time ago. You know, I could have seen this coming. I'm sure other people predicted it. Let's scoot this back a little bit. Uh, so, you know, when you got people like Angry Grandpa and you got people like McJuggernuggets on the internet, stuff like this has been uh, bound to happen. Um, so basically, McJuggernuggets is moving to L.A., uh, to work for a company called Red Sun is what I've heard so far, and it's pretty believable. Um, you know, the only reason why I don't think this has happened to, like, Angry Grandpa is because they're not as good acting. Uh, it, you know, McJargon gets really good acting, uh, and everyone in it is, so that's why people like that get called into um, agencies like this. So, um, you know, it makes sense. All the facts are lining up. Think about it, you know. His dad... His dad took all the stuff out of his room. Uh, no. No, it's on a cargo plane going over to L.A. to McJuggernuggets' new apartment. <laughs> you know? And it, it's all lining up. You know, he's quitting all his series. Um, quit fan mail, quit Q&A. All that's going out the window. You know, it's obvious. You know? And he's going to end the Psycho series. Unfortunately, I love the Psycho series. The other ones, I don't really care. But, um, you know, so... Uh, you know, some people don't even believe it. You know, some people are like, oh, no, that's not happening. Well, yes, it is, you know. <laughs> um, here's what's going to happen, all right? Here's what's going to happen when it comes to, like, the series-wise. Um, he's going to get out. He's going to get to the safe. He's going to get his 30 grand back. And then he's going to say, guys, I'm moving to L.A. And then he's going to get to L.A. He's going to quit his YouTube channel, and he's going to work for Red Sun. I'm calling it now. That's my prediction. He's going to get his 30 grand. He's going to move to L.A., and he's going to work for Red Sun. Oh, and he's going to quit his YouTube channel. So, uh, basically, all the juggies that, you know, that would never leave him and he'd never leave them, they were basically just a stepping stool for him to get to L.A. Um, and uh, I, I'm just curious to see how he's going to do it, you know. Is he going to admit that the series are fake? Is he going to admit the Psycho series are fake? Or is he just going to kind of drop YouTube and act like it never happened? I think the respectable thing to do would be at least, you know, admit that the series are fake, you know. Uh, they've got you what you need. They got you the money. They got you the recognition. Admit they're fake now. Um, he doesn't really have to. I mean, everybody over the age of 13, 14 knows that they're fake. Um, probably not even that. Um, but, you know, anyone that has a mind, knows that they're fake. So he doesn't really even have to admit that they're fake. It's more of just a, are you going to be a respectable person or not, you know? Um, now Uncle Larry's in it. You know, I used to respect him, but now that he's faking his neck injury, I don't respect that at all. Um, but, you know, like I, like I said, I could have seen this coming. You know, I knew this was going to happen someday. Uh, it's pretty obvious. You know, when you have 3 million subs, you have great acting, you know, amazing acting, and, you know, you're putting this on the internet with that much recognition, it's bound to happen. Somebody's going to see it, and somebody's going to call you. Uh, I just wondered, you know, back when he was in the camper and he had that guy come and film him, I wonder if he was going to tell us then, because, like, he was saying, I got some emails, but L.A. told him you can't do that, so he had to come up with a cover-up, and that was the guy that filmed him. I don't know. It's possible. Um... I don't know, the worst part of it all is that the Psycho series are ending. Um, those were fun to watch. Uh, but that's about it. You know, that's really all I have to say. Um, I wonder if he's going to hand it over to Uncle Larry. Um, even then, if he does, I don't even, I'll don't. i probably stop watching because I don't think Uncle Larry could make a good series. Um, you know, so I don't know. He lost a lot of respect. He, he's fake. He, you know... I think I'd respect him more if he just admitted that he was fake. You know, Michael Green, he basically admitted that the Ingrid Grandpa videos were fake. Um, and we'll just see what happens here. Uh, but I'm calling it now. This is my prediction. He's going to get the 30 grand, move to L.A., quit YouTube, work for Red Sun. Calling it now. That's my prediction. Um, but, yeah, we'll just see what happens. So, um, yeah, that's about all I have to say about that. Um... So yeah, he's exposed. And I saw some link on one of his videos yesterday. Uh, some guy commented like a link that had a web page, um, basically Red Sun saying that 
McJuggernaut because it doesn't work for him. Uh, I think he deleted the comment because he doesn't want all of his nine-year-olds to know. So if I can find that link, I'll put it down below. But if I can't, I'm sorry. Uh, there's thousands, there, you know, you look it up right now, McJuggernaut gets Red Sun. There's thousands of videos, thousands of web pages. You're going to see it, you know. And he's trying to hide it from everybody. But, uh, yeah. So he's going to be in L.A. We're going to see it happen. I bet within the next month, maybe not even that week, he's out. Because all the stuff in his room is gone. It's in L.A. right now. Um, so, yeah, it's unfortunate. It was a good series. It lasted for, like, two years. And it was pretty entertaining. So, um, so all i got to say about that. Uh, I'd like to see if he's going to even try to continue his channel in L.A. He probably knows he can't because, you know, nobody's going to watch him if his dad's not in it. So... His, his YouTube channel is going down the toilet, um, you know, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I appreciate it. I'll speak with you all again soon. It's your good old boy, Matt Bright.